Now that we have already learned about the Egyptian civilization and how their social structures were and how their towns were planned, we are going to see the most interesting part about this civilization. Yes, the pyramids. Take a look at the picture. Don't you think they are beautiful? So, let's see how they were made. Take a look at this video and how busy the workers are in building these pyramids. See how the heavy rocks are being lifted. Surely, the pyramids are really beautiful. But, that is that all? Were the pyramids only beautiful? Why do you think these were made? Well, these pyramids were simply built as tombs for the pharaohs and his belongings after death. This was basically just a lavish house for the kings to live in after they had died. Well, you see, the Egyptian people believed in life after death. So naturally, they thought that after their king had died, they're going to require a lavish house to live in, right? That is what these pyramids were. On the inside, there were beautiful statues and paintings so that the pharaohs could live a very happy afterlife. Take a look at this pyramid. Well, this is the Great Pyramid of Giza, which was made for Pharaoh Khufu. Well, if you think that building pyramids was all that these Egyptians did, you might be a bit wrong, as they also made such beautiful statues. They made huge, gigantic statues with large columns, like this one, which is in Abu Simbel. They also made smaller statues and structures for decorating their tombs as well as their temples. Lastly, you might have heard about the Sphinx, which is a very iconic statue, which shows the body of a lion and the head of a man. Now let's talk about how these people worked and how these people earned their daily bread. Well, agriculture was their main occupation. Take a look at this picture. What can we see? We see a man who has a tool attached to two bullocks or cows and he is also holding a whip. So, this is an image taken from one of the pyramids. From this image, we can understand that the ancient Egyptians had learned how to domesticate animals. They also domesticated other animals such as dogs, goats, donkeys, pigs and camels. Now, did you know that these Egyptians found cats to be magical creatures? I mean, of course they are. Other than that, they were also masters of art of weaving. Take a look at these pictures here. Can you see how well these people are dressed? Well, that is how a king used to dress at that age. Look at how the gold ornaments have been worn. They even had many helmets. See how the, gold, how the people are wearing golden clothes. Apart from that, the regular people could not afford such clothes. So, there is no gold in their clothes. Now, apart from that, as you must have heard about the phase, practice makes perfect. So, since we already know that these Egyptian people made so many huge structures and pyramids using stones, they had become great at stone making. Take a look at this picture. All of these are tiny little stones which together have formed this pyramid. Apart from that, carpentry was another profession followed by many of these people. But wood was not available at most of the times in Egypt, so it had to be imported. Take a look at this picture. This shows that carpentry was done a lot of times in ancient Egypt. But the river Nile wasn't always good to these people. In fact, there were several floodings that used to take place. So, for that, these people made canals like this one right here, which redirected the flood water into their agricultural farms in which this water was very much welcome. Apart from that, they also had another system. This required a long pole, a large weight and a bucket. So, the bucket was dipped inside the Nile River and once it was filled, using the weight, water was taken out of the river and thrown into the canals so that they could reach their agricultural farms. So, from these methods, we can see that even as early as in 3000 BCE, people had different methods of irrigation. 
this just shows how smart these people really were now trade also used to take place but not only on land but also on waters using these ships they had a great system of weights and the egyptians had a very nice well set up network of traders and they used to trade with other civilizations as well now let's talk about religion so today you must have seen many people worshiping the nature even at that time people used to worship nature in fact their main god was called re who was their sun god other than that there was also osiris who was the god of dead he used to take care of the dead people then there was also seth who was the god of war but that's not all ancient egyptians also used to worship cats take a look at these pictures you can see the cats wearing jewelries well this is because rich ancient egyptians used to decorate their cats with these jewelries or made of gold and also used to feed them food as if they were god and even if a cat had died by an accident the person responsible would be punished for it and lastly these cats if they died the family members had to mourn by shaving off their eyebrows so now that we have learned that which animal did the egyptians worship your options are a cat dog or camel well the correct answer is a cat now let's take a look at their script so how did these people record themselves well it's simple they had the hieroglyphic script which meant the sacred carvings take a look at these pictures you can see various inscriptions on walls these have been carved out and are representational of their ideas they are trying to say something using these carvings so apart from carving on walls of pyramids pillars of pyramids and tombs they also used to write using reed pens which were made of bamboo on such paper like material called papyrus now let's see their scientific development well did you know that the ancient egyptians had a hieroglyphic number system with the help of which they could count to millions take a look at how unique this is each of these are different symbols one is a stick 10 is a heel bone 100 is a whip so using this can you write 300 in the ancient egyptian language well that's simple you'll just have to draw the whip 3 times apart from that they could also add subtract multiply and divide and count to many millions like we can today they could also calculate the area of triangles and rectangles this shows how smart these people truly were even at that time they could calculate the area of triangles and rectangles well that's not all they also created their own system of algebra which helped them in the building of pyramids will you see in the building of pyramids everything requires science how you build the rocks to how you carry those rocks on the top of the pyramids this all shows great architectural intellect so now we come to astronomy well these were the first civilization to design a solar calendar which had 365 days it had 12 months as you can see here and and so on and you can also see then that they followed a solar calendar with 12 months and 365 days they had 30 days in each month and the five extra days were festivals they also celebrated new year whenever sirius which was the brightest star appeared in the morning sky and then they also apart from maintaining a solar calendar they also maintained a lunar calendar well now let's take a look at this video what do you think is happening here what is this place and who are these people well this is the place that the dead are being turned into mummies 
Can you see the people wrapped in white? Well, take a closer look. Now, you can also see the walls which are filled with paintings and inscriptions, right? Well, this is how the inside of a pyramid looks like and this is where these dead people will spend the rest of their eternity. So, these Egyptians were also far ahead or advanced when it came to the human body. They studied the human body by doing surgeries on them after the person had died. Well, as you see, in ancient Egyptian culture, their body was very important, even after death. So, they had to devise a method to preserve the body. For this, the process of mummification comes in. In this, the body after death had to be dried by using several tools and methods and then wrapped in white linen sheets as you can see from these pictures. And so, after this, they were placed in tombs and graves. Well, the rich got a lot of things done but it was important for everyone. So, even the poor people made mummies out of their dead. It is estimated that more than 70 million mummies were made in this 3,000 year span. Isn't that scary? Now, you've already met King Tutankhamun, right? In the video about Tom and Jerry. But let us know why his discovery was so important. Well, as you see, in the year 1922, Howard Carter led a team of 20 men and discovered this tomb. This is an actual picture from that time. You can see this tomb and this face mask right here. So, why was this discovery so big? Well, usually what had happened that previously many tombs had been robbed because these had many golden items and very expensive items in them. But when his tomb, King Tut's tomb was found, this had more than 5,000 items in it which was worth more than 27.7 billion dollars. This is why it was so important. But there's a twist. This tomb had a curse attached to it, which was the curse of the kings, which promised death to anyone who disturbed the sleep of the kings, which is said to have come true, because many people who had followed Howard Carter in 1922 died after the tomb was found. So why do you think such a great civilization ever came to an end? Was it natural calamities? Were it floods? Or were it wars? Well, it lasted for about 3,000 years. But as you can see from the picture, in 30 BCE, people from Rome came and captured Egypt, making it a part of the Roman Empire. So after this, all the administrative works were done by the Roman people. The temples were shut down and so the ability to read hieroglyphic script was lost. Some cultural things from the Egyptian civilization remained such as the wrapping of mummies but more or less the Egyptian civilization came to an end right at this point. So now that we know so much about the Egyptian civilization, wouldn't it be fun to learn more about it? Which was the first pyramid built in Egypt? Find out about it. Well, do you know about the pyramid of Giza and how it was a part of Giza necropolis? Well, it will be fun to learn more about this as well. So lastly, I have a riddle for you. Can you solve the riddle of Sphinx? Another fun thing about this Egyptian civilization was that there was a queen called Queen Hatshepsut who came in the year 1504 BCE or before Christ era. Well, you see a few centuries back, the woman could own personal property in Egypt. This is all thanks to this queen. Why? Because after the death of her father and then her husband, she took the crown along with her son, who was only three years old. So she ruled in his name. But after five years, she took the crown for herself and ruled along with her son for 22 years. Many people and archaeologists think that she did so, so that the power could remain hers and other people could not overthrow her. So well, thanks to this queen, Many people or many women also became queen after this. Well, did you know that the Egyptians loved to play board games? In fact, take a look at this picture here. 
This game is called Senate. And this was a primitive form of modern day Ludo. I'm sure you know Ludo. Well, there were other games as well. These were Mehen, Senate, 20 Squares and Hounds and Jackals. Apart from these, take a look at this picture. Several pictures and paintings like these have been found from inside the tombs which show us that a lot of people played these board games. In fact, people from all different social structures used to play these games. Farmers to kings, noblemen, viziers, etc. Apart from this, these people were also big fans of makeup. Look at how makeup has been used in this painting. A lot of makeup items were traded by the merchants. Apart from that, several golden palettes filled with makeup have also been found in tombs. This shows us how important makeup was to these people. Now let us go through the entire timeline of the Egyptian civilization. Well, starting with the Old Kingdom in 3000 BCE, it had many developments such as the building of the pyramids, building of tombs, construction projects and this kingdom came to an end after there was a civil war between the noblemen and the pharaohs. Next came the Middle Kingdom which was there in the year 2040 BCE. During this kingdom a lot of progress took place in this civilization. Much many trade projects took place and also construction happened. Lastly the new kingdom begins in 1570 BCE. During this, the Hyksos were expelled and Egyptian people ruled over much more land than ever before. They also saw progress during this kingdom related to trade and construction projects. Lastly, this civilization also came to an end in 30 BCE when Romans came here and conquered Egypt. So with that, we can understand how important this civilization really was. In fact, so important that even in this day and age, people try to find much more about this ancient Egyptian civilization. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free on deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app and get easy access to more than 5,000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step-by-step -step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and get a chance to win amazing prizes like Playstations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it's rewarding too. So register for free now.